In this video, I'll be talking about how to get your ducklings to like you. So one of the challenges with ducks is that they're a bit more skittish than chicks and chickens. I think chickens tend to be a lot more loving and maybe cuddly um, and tend to be a bit more trusting. But ducks are, uh, they, they don't have an initial trust with you that chickens might have. So with ducks, you've got to earn their trust. And there's a few ways that I've done this to be able to get them to sit on my lap and hang out with me. The first thing I would suggest doing is right off the bat when you get them uh, from mail order, or however you're getting your ducks, is just spend a ton of time with them. Um, I set up a brooder in my office and I work from home and I ended up just to happen to have a couple days off from work when I got them in the mail and I probably spent the first day and a half sitting in the same room as my ducks and just watching them just eat and run around their brooder and, and all that stuff. So they were like three days old at this point. You really don't even need to touch them that much um, unless you want them to be, uh, be okay being handled. Ducks also tend not like to be handled, like picked up and touched and whatnot. Unless they've been, uh, unless they've been socialized to it. So I mostly sat in the same room with my ducklings and just hung out with them and talked to them so they get used to your voice. Um, and I did occasionally pick them up, but they seemed to hate it and get really scared whenever I tried to pick them up. So I didn't do it that off that often. Um, what I would suggest though is don't do what I did. Actually try to pick them up quite a bit, even if it seems like they don't like it, and just hold them. And eventually they'll get used to it, and my understanding is, is that they will just become okay with being picked up and touched. Unfortunately now, my ducks are about six weeks old, and because I didn't do that desensitization training early on, um, they're, they don't like being handled very much. I can pick them up, but they'll, they'll make a big racket, and they pretty much just hate it. So yeah, spend time with your ducks early and often. Um, my second tip would be a lot of hand feeding. When I first got my ducklings, I had uh, food just, just out for them 24-7. But what I would do sometimes is when I came in the room, I would open a bag of treats. So I used like mealworms. You've seen those in my other videos. Um, and I would hand feed them mealworms as a treat and they go ballistic over those. Alongside spending time with your ducks, another tip I would have is to bring them outside, maybe into your yard, um, and take them take them outside, allow them to free range, and then um, spend time with them outside in their free range environments so that they get used to you being out there and then they're not scared of you. Um, a more pointed tip that I have with this is that you should get a towel and sit in your yard, out, out in your backyard, and put a, a bowl of water, maybe a bowl of food, right in front of you and sit crisscross applesauce in the yard. Now the benefit to doing this is that the ducks will probably come over to you and start eating and drinking water as long as they're not scared of you. Hopefully, uh, if you've spent time with them, they're, they're relatively not fearful of you. But what this will start doing is that, uh, for me, my ducks start just nibbling on me and they start climbing on top of me they just tend to associate you with the food and water that you've brought them, and then they're curious about you, so they're not scared of you anymore. So they start climbing on you, and then um, they might also just sleep on your lap, for example. So I think this is a really good way to get really personal with your ducks and allow them to get really comfortable just hanging out with you. Uh, it's not even being in their vicinity, it's them being able to, to sniff you and nibble on you and maybe climb around on your lap and they'll see that you're not a danger to them at all. Um, so this is kind of an accessory tip to spending time with them. Another suggestion would be to just hand feed them their, their meals. So take away their, uh, their food for a while and just hold food in your hands and offer them food out of your hands. I did this a lot in the first few days um, and they, they ate out of my hands. At first they were quite skittish, probably the first day after they came home from the USPS. They were really skittish, probably just because they were frazzled from the journey. But uh, throughout the day and then the next day, they became very comfortable eating out of my hands. 
And I think that helps them get associated with you and learn that you're a good thing, not a, not a danger to them. And it, maybe it also helps desensitize them a bit to being handled. I, I can touch my ducks a little bit. I can scratch them under the chin. Um, they just still don't really like being picked up because I didn't do a good job with desensitizing them to that. So yeah, I think those would be my tips for the short video. Spend a lot of time with your ducks and ducklings. Um, hand feed them and try to handle them as much as they'll allow.